this is because of the schedule. We recognize that construction has to happen 24 hours. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. It does not have to happen. That is the state. It absolutely doesn't have to happen. You the state. Sign, no, no, no. You sign something that, that makes it happen. It does not have to happen. Okay? I didn't ask for it to happen. I lived there. I dropped a half a million dollars on a house. I've got a two year old kid that can't sleep. It doesn't have to happen. Do you live over there? If I started banging pots and pans outside your house and I said that it's cool because it's within 55 decibels, would you be okay with that? You personally, would you be okay with it? I think we all know what the answer to that question is, okay? okay but what, so what, what, what I want to convince you is that we have, we have heard you tonight, okay? There is no one here tonight, and certainly there's nothing that can happen right here in the next 30 minutes, 45 minutes that is gonna allow us to, to satisfactorily answer your question, okay? So however, I just, so, so should I just tell my daughter to hold off on another night's sleep? However, so you guys are out. however, we all are hearing you, and as the woman over here said, we understand the human element of this, okay? We, we do, okay? We're, we're here to try to do the best we can to communicate what we have in terms of how this is going forward. I'm not hearing what you're doing. So I'm hearing the clear. Nothing you're we're not telling me what you're going to do. I understand so because there's no one here who can commit to doing anything different than what is taking place. So I'm hearing here. what you're doing here. So what are you doing here? We're steps explaining steps to you that that work is going to be done. I already know going. that. I think okay. you're talking to this lady over here. We're explaining to you that that work is going to be done. I already know that. I've been talking to this lady over here for two weeks. I understand. And, and we're here to listen to you. We're here to respond the best we can, okay? But what the people are saying here, okay, yeah. is that the work is, is going to continue, okay? And, and they're trying to, you know, no one is trying to tell you something that is a gray area. We're trying to be as clear as we can and what they're communicating is that the work is gonna continue. If someone tells the Purple Line uh, people to not do that, then they will not do that, okay? But that's not where we're at right now, so okay? So give him the steps, let, let me, uh, the steps after tonight for here, so we know that we're heard, that we will need someone that is rested. I understand you can't change it this second, but I think what he's asking for is, what are, what are the steps you're going to take so we feel like you're hearing us, we're considering it and not just saying, if well, we're getting people out. I mean, I'm, Mike can correct me if I'm wrong, but I know Chuck couldn't be here tonight, but I know you're in conversations with Chuck and, and making sure that he understands not just what they're talking about, but the human side of what they're concerned about. Yes. At, at this point, the state is not prepared to stop work or not allow the construction to go on for 24 hours at the tunnel because that is necessary to meet the state's schedule. So at the risk of being repetitive, how do you expect my daughter to sleep? Because it's not necessary for you to do the tunnel. It is necessary for her to sleep. If I could just add to that, I've got the transcript from the point that the contract was actually approved. And there's a quote from Mr. Latuka saying in response to a question about noise that the second there was any, if there was any problem with the noise, the concessionaire would be, let me see if I get this exactly right, required to address uh, these immediately or they may suffer some point deductions which could lead to a financial deduction. So does this not count as um, noise? That, that relates to the situation where the noise criteria are in effect. With the tunnel, they're not in effect. This gentleman here in the white shirt has had his head up a lot. Stand up, I understand. You can't do anything tonight to fix the noise. Could you perhaps tell us? You could, I think you could. I think you could give us names and contacts of people who could do something to address the noise. You could in MTA and the state. Well, that sounds like where it's going. I think you could. You could give us an avenue, as, as this woman suggested, that, for further action by us without waiting for the next meeting, without waiting for the next posting on the website. The state one has a schedule. Somebody made the schedule. Somebody can, is deciding whether the schedule can be delayed for other reasons, like weather, like whatever, whatever comes up, market conditions, contingencies of supply. They could do it for this. We will certainly make. We will, our, know who. we will make our superiors aware of the concerns.
concern, and we want to know who they are now. Well, <laughs> we, we can provide that information. And how to get access to them. Pardon me? And okay. Ma'am, right here. Um, yeah, okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Janelle Wilkins. I am one of your Maryland State Delegates representing District 20. Um, I was made aware of this specific situation issue about um, a week or so ago. We had a call earlier today with um, folks from the Purple Line, um, and now I'm here today to hear more information. Um, and I just wanted to add to what has been said here. I think that residents all across District 20 have been um, dealing with a lot of 